Okay, um, so just want to make a quick video. Watch Star Wars Force Awakens, and just want to give a quick review. Uh, this is gonna be a little longer video, but hold on. The review of the movie, spoiler free. If you're a fan of Star Wars, you are gonna fall in love with this. They did it. They freaking did it. They not. They pretty much topped all of the prequels. They did not mess up. This is. This is exactly what we deserve as fans. Like, holy shit, this movie was fantastic. If you are a fan, you're going to love this movie. And personally, don't attack me for this one, but this is just personally, my own personal opinion. I preferred it to Return of the Jedi. Now, I understand some of you may be thinking it's blasphemous, you're going to probably, but it's just my personal opinion, okay? I mean, I still love Empire. That's my favorite one, and I still love A New Hope. So just calm down. But it beats it by a little bit. But that's a good thing. The fact that it's able to reach that kind of like a uh, quality it's fantastic I, I was my jaw was hitting the floor the whole time i was just awe inspired it is a fantastic fantastic film and i highly recommend it if you're whether you're a fan of star wars or not this is a great great movie just to enjoy on the big screen okay now we're gonna start going to spoiler territory so if you don't want spoilers um thanks for watching like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later but um all right, this is gonna be more like a somewhat of an insane fan because I want to like talk about spoilers and I want to hear your guys' opinion about about this. So, spoilers. Last time, spoiler, 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 spoiler. Stop right now. I am not kidding. I will ruin, ruin huge elements of this movie. So stop watching now. Don't read in the comments either. Avoid this video from this point on. I swear to God, I do not want to be that guy that ruins this for you because you just please don't. You with me? Okay, well, um, if you watched the last video, you would know that I was here with my best buddy. And, um, I really... Let's just say he's in a better place, okay? So, let's forget about that. Um, so, Han's not here uh, with us. So, let's just forget about that for now. Um, but what, what did you guys think of this moment? I mean, I I, I, I knew it was I knew it was gonna come. I knew it was gonna happen. I was dreading it happening. If any, okay, when I went in the movie, I honestly thought either Chewie or Han was gonna die, and oh, I really that hit me hard. I mean, if you're a big fan of the series and you love that character, it's just it's it's heart wrenching. But you understand why. I, uh, here's the funny thing, I actually feel horrible, like, I feel horrible for Adam Driver, the actor uh, who played Kylo Ren. Dude, he has to live with that fact for the rest of his life, knowing that he's the guy who murdered Han Solo, his own father of all people. Oh my god. When that happened, again, okay, I'm just gonna sound like a broken record, but yeah, that hit me hard. I, w I wanna hear what, what, how, what did it do to you guys? Because holy shit, that was, that was heart-wrenching, even though I kinda saw it coming. To an extent but the big thing i want to talk about ray i'm not talking about myself i'm talking about the character ray what the hell she she's force sensitive she has the force she's yeah sure is insane fan through so i guess yeah here's title card boom uh there you go Just push that aside but um yeah um do you think that she's at all related to one of the original characters uh some of the theories have been thrown out there like some people believe that She's a uh, Han Solo and Leia's uh, daughter. I don't buy, buy that at all. I mean, they they didn't like actually like respond that way. She, uh, Han did by uh, treating her like you're like the daughter I never had, but that's an important thing because personally, I feel like Rey is Luke's daughter. It there's a lot of things that point to this. Um, that lightsaber calling out to her. Why the hell does it call out to her? I get she has force, but why particularly like? Like, it's, when she touches it, she feels like, like, her whole, she gets, like, a, just complete, like, nostalgia, like, trip of, like, her, all of her family's past. Like, the, the, the bad, the, like, it just, it's, it's insane, and it scares her, because she doesn't understand what's going on. A little bit like Luke, when the whole thing, it's like, you're, you're like, you're a Jedi Luke and all that stuff. It's, 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 it's similar to that. And people have been pointing out, like, the, the series kind of, like, mirrors, but both trilogies, the old ones, and now this one, it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's obvious they're going to be, like, you know, mirroring each other. But, um, nothing. I don't know about you guys, but I got the vibe that 
Ray and Kylo Ren would like, like their little like just that meeting against them. Like they would always talk about like, do you feel it? Like I know they're talking about the Force, but it's like they're talking about someone else. Like I feel like I got that feeling that they're they're family somehow, not brother and sister, but like cousins maybe. Like there's something that connects them, something that just other than just the Force. Like I honestly just I just got that feeling, and I don't know. Um, uh, again, I just watched it. It's fresh, so a little hazy in some parts. It'll you know it'll re recollect in my mind later. But um, there's a lot of moments where like when Ray leaves the room, some people are gonna start talking about her, like, oh, I need to tell you something. And it cuts away, I'm like, what were you gonna talk about? And I just keep getting that vibe, especially with the whole thing uh, I mentioned earlier that Han like said, like, you're like the daughter I never had. And it's like, like just keep treating her like that. And it's like, it's almost like they're blood, not father and daughter, but niece and uncle. So I, I don't know. Um, so I do, I, I wanna point out Tim is completely against this theory. He um, does not agree with it. He believes that, um, like a lot of the old things, like um, particularly Jedi. The old movies showed that Jedi do not reproduce. Although my thing against that was Anakin did. So that one's kind of a toss up. And also the huge one that I kind of, kind of agree with, but it's also hazy. Cause if he's his daughter, if, if she is his daughter, why the fuck did he just abandon her? Because we see her at a young age, you know, like, yelling at the sky, like, as a ship goes away, like, come back. Personally, I thought of a vibe like, oh, it was, like, Order 66, you know, um, he had to leave her. And Tim, again, was, arc, like, just telling me that, you know, like, you wouldn't do that to your daughter. And I agree, like, it's it's messed up. Why wouldn't he leave her with Leia or Han? Like, it makes no sense. But I did also have another thing against that was, uh, that Han and Leia, after Kylo, or after Ben became Kylo Ren, they both just went into their own work. They they just didn't want to handle just another, like, their child left. Their child was technically dead to them. So they just couldn't handle, like, li like life with, as, like, a family. So they had to, like, just separate and do their own thing. He became a smuggler again, and she became a general. Also, another thing came up was, uh, why didn't Luke train her? I mean, obviously. Well, again, that could have been a problem, because if Kylo Ren turned evil... What, what's to say that she might not turn evil too? Because remember, they have Anakin Skywalker blood in them. The dark, like the Force is strong in them, but so is the dark side. So that explains why Kylo Ren like was able just to switch on a dime. So they're concerned what what would happen to Rey. So it's understandable. And honestly, leaving her alone, as fucked up as it is, well, that's probably the safest she could be. Because remember, Luke had to bolt out the same way like uh, Obi Wan Kenobi and. Uh, Yoda, like, they, what, Order 66, they had to, like, leave, you know, go into hiding. Maybe that's what happened. I understand it sounds terrible, just dropping off and just le leaving your daughter like that, just abandoning her. It's a terrible thing. But what if that's the only way to protect her? It's all hazy, it's all crazy, but what do you guys think? Honestly, this all comes down to what do you guys think. Personally, I believe that Rey very much could be Luke's daughter. Tim doesn't agree with that. He says, I mean, because he does have a valid point that um, you don't have to actually be born like from a blood lineage to have the force. Like it just happens. And and that obviously has happened before. So I don't know. It's very, very weird, wishy-washy, but like, what do you guys think? Because this is a fantastic movie and I just can't stop thinking about it. Um, but yeah, leave in the comments down below, like what side do you go on? Like, or if you have a cool, other theory, I would love to hear it because I just want answers. And again, of course they're going to answer in the sequels, but I just want them now because my god, the fact that we got a brand new, great Star Wars is amazing. Um, but yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and may the Force be with you.